It starts with a promise, a promise to support cutting edge science, to embrace the brain's complexity and follow the most promising leads wherever they take us, to be inspired by success and undaunted by failure, and to take smart risks for potentially life-changing ideas. We're searching for the most promising science being explored by the most passionate researchers and helping them bridge the gap between concept and execution. At the Brain Research Foundation, we do this with a single purpose in mind, to find treatments and cures for the neurological disorders that affect more than 50 million Americans. For 60 years, we've supported innovative research that challenges assumptions and strives to answer some of the biggest, most challenging questions in neuroscience. We want to push the boundaries of science. We want to answer those questions that haven't been answered. And in doing that, that's how you get to a cure. We fund the research that other organizations are unwilling to fund. And we're looking for ways to have an immediate impact upon people of all ages. We support researchers like Ravi Alada, who in addition to his position as chair of the Department of Neurobiology at Northwestern University, is looking into how circadian clocks may be involved in neurodegenerative diseases. We have a number of diseases in society which have been very difficult to address. They all have different names. You have Alzheimer's, you have Parkinson's, and many of the people who have these diseases start to have disruptions in their ability to go through sleep and wake cycles. If you ask most physicians, what do you think is happening there? They would mostly say, well, you know, if, if, if you have some neurons in your brain that are dying, it's not so surprising that you know, maybe you can't sleep as well as you used to. We decided to flip that question a little bit. Was well, it possible that it's the disruption of the sleep-wake cycles that actually may lead to or stimulate the neurodegenerative process. We had a little bit of evidence for that, and that's sort of what we went to the Brain Research Foundation with. And I think they realized that this was an exciting possibility, and so they decided to fund this work. And I think the implication of the work is fairly significant, that we may have a piece of the puzzle to what may be causing these diseases, I think is something that would interest a lot of people. Our uniquely expansive vision allows us to think beyond a single disease, beyond a single pathway, to investigate and invest on all fronts. The Brain Research Foundation funds projects that are innovative but broad. And so what that means is that, you know, we may be answering something in epilepsy and there may be some overlap and some eureka moment that they're finding out about depression. We don't know what the overlaps are. We can only think about what they may be. And what's so wonderful about science is sometimes the answer isn't the answer that you expected, but it is an answer. Our rigorous vetting process, including peer and expert reviews, ensures that we're supporting the best science. We created our Sea Grant program, and it's just what it says, seed. It's smaller amount of money, hoping that we can grow something, that we can advance science. For every dollar that we invest in our scientists, they're able to obtain another $20 of funding. And that is an incredible return on investment by any standard. And I don't know of any organization that can boast that kind of result. I think the Brain Research Foundation support for our own laboratory really played a critical role in helping us get the key data that we needed to start going to more traditional funding sources. And in this case, the brain research support allowed us to obtain a multi-million dollar grant. And I think it's an example of how a relatively small level of support can basically leverage to get very large levels of support. The Brain Research Foundation fills an important gap between conception of ideas, potentially groundbreaking ideas, and bringing those ideas to fruition. Because of the support from our donors, friends, and trustees, we've been able to do this essential work for six decades. And now we renew our commitment to the future, to supporting new discoveries that will help us unlock the mysteries of the brain. When it comes to our, our future work, we have a new global outreach. We're looking for the best science, not just in Chicago, not just in the state of Illinois, not even just in this country. Wherever the best science is, that's where we want to be. 
The Brain Research Foundation donors know why they're funding this organization. And it's not necessarily because we do something that's easy to understand. They get that funding basic research, translational research, clinical research is what's going to move us forward to finding the treatments and cures that we need for these neurological disorders. Promise. It's our pledge to continue the vital work of the last 60 years to steward our donors' contributions carefully and devote every dollar to scientific exploration, to push boundaries and expand knowledge, to seek out the best brain research anywhere in the world, and to find treatments and cures for the neurological disorders that touch us all. Today, we're making you a promise that we will continue this journey, striving each and every day, now and into the future.